I am someone that is amazing at saving all of my money. Except when it comes to shopping, food, buying clothes or treats for the dogs, entertainment, books. Okay, okay, let's rewind that. Maybe I'm not amazing at saving money, but with some of these tips, I've really improved. And let me share with you today how to do just that. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about managing and saving money and some of the tips that I have learned along the way. Specifically for the freelancing side of things, there can be, it feels as though there is so much to learn, so much to navigate. You're just starting up this business, whether it be to freelance in the sense of building different projects on the coding side, or maybe you are on the managing side. No matter what area you are freelancing in, managing the money side of the business can be a tricky one. I know this firsthand from managing and building up my Tiff and Tech business. When the income, the finances start coming in, and it can be very overwhelming with the taxes, with the saving, the investing. I felt like I was pretty good at that when it came to my personal and my career side of things. But when you have your own business, it's a whole new territory. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for your comments, feedback, questions, love. I love you, you know that. And that's why I always shout you out. Okay, let's dive right in. Don't you ever find it so interesting that no one in school really, when it be elementary or high school, teaches us how to manage our money. It's something that as an adult, we kind of have to navigate and figure out on our own, especially when it comes to the world of freelancing and building up your own business. I can remember pretty much to the exact day, the first time I got a big paycheck for Tiff and Tech, I thought to myself in one hand, this is amazing, I have so much money to spend. And then the practical tip was like, wait, aren't there taxes and how am I gonna navigate the investing and payroll? Like, what, what do I do with all this? And I felt like I really had nowhere to turn, uh, no one to turn to. I don't have friends that are necessarily uh, in the freelancing world, or I do have some, but none that I thought I could really rely on to help me navigate this. As being someone in tech, I do what all of us techies always do, and I started Googling. I started Googling different softwares that could do the thinking for me. One of the business banking accounts called Lance, and I'm going to bring it up on screen because if you are a freelancer or even just thinking about freelancing, but the money and business side is a little intimidating, I highly recommend you check this out uh, to really help kind of almost, I would say, grow your business in a very quick way because it alleviates your thinking process or that you have to put so much thought and energy into this side of things and you can focus more so on the business and growth. Okay, you can see here I have Lance on the screen. They help transfer your salary for you, pay your taxes, never miss a deduction and budget your savings. So as you can see, all the pain points that I was facing, especially when I was starting to freelance, were solved by business banking account. There are still so many things you need to keep in mind and be aware of when you are starting a freelancing uh, business, but I really think having first and foremost a good platform that you can rely on is the most, I can't even put, it's, you have to, it's essential almost nowadays. And this brings me to a second tip, which is don't bury your head in the sand. It's so easy when we are freelancing and starting a business to just kind of think, oh, I'll deal with that later or push it off to the side that that will be later. But the reality is the longer you wait to start actually looking at, okay, how much do I have to set aside for taxes? What is going to be my salary? Am I going to take a salary? Different questions like that, that you really need to answer right up front. You can't just bury your head in the sand and hope they just magically disappear. Another tip that I have found and learned the hard, not the hard way I would say, but really something that I have to be mindful of is plan for ups and downs. You might have a month where you bring in so much money, more than you've ever brought in, and you think this is amazing, uh, you know, I can now bring on more people or bring on other employees, and then only to have the next month it be the total opposite, where it's a slow, slow month and everything you thought the month prior is now not true. So you don't want to just jump ahead and make rash decisions. You really wanna step back and ensure that, hey, okay, how am I going to plan ahead accordingly that if it is a slow month, I can still maintain and uh, make a business that is sustainable based on, on average, what I am bringing in every month. 
And going back to having a tool or process that really helps do that for you, I wanna share with you about Lance, how you can literally just define your budget, set your salary, saving and spending preferences and forget about them. Lance will divvy up each paycheck according to your priorities. And for myself, I have three areas I really focus on. One is getting my paycheck, so salary. The other is business expenses. And the third is savings. The other area, I would say if I'm being totally candid with you, an area that I really struggled with for a while was having a good system or way that clients could pay me. So at first when I was starting out, I get clients who would e-transfer me, wire transfer, use different platforms. It was very chaotic and it was kind of all over the place. And in turn, I think it gave my accountant a bit of a headache as it did for me. So now I always ensure that I'm using one system when I am going to be paid. I know to look out for it there. I know that this is, it's standardized and it really once again takes the stress out of wondering where did this money come from? Or what bank account is it in? No, just having one standardized place where all your clients pay and ensuring that it is easy for your clients to use is so important. Starting a business can be difficult. It can be overwhelming and very challenging as I know firsthand. I remember so many sleepless nights where I would just be stressing about, did I you know, put enough in investing or savings? Did I put enough into uh, for my tax, aside from my taxes, different things like that. And when you have a platform that you can really rely on and trust to really take care of the money side of things for you, I think anyways, from my experience, it relieves so much of those pain points that you can really put your focus and time back onto growing your business rather than worrying about, did you save enough for taxes? And I think that if you are someone who is thinking about freelancing or is freelancing and you don't have a business banking account that you use to manage your money, you're falling behind. You can't grow your business nowadays, I think, without one. So I linked actually Lance down in the description. So make sure to go check them out. They are honestly an incredible business banking account. And I just know for myself, I get so much value out of them. Hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.